Today, I will show you how to sort objects into equal size groups to divide using drawings. We can use place value drawings to help us divide. Let's use these pictures. To represent hundreds, we will use a square. To represent tens, we will use a stick. To represent ones, we will use a dot. These drawings are very similar to the base 10 blocks that we used in class. As a reminder, here's what it looked like. As you can see, the ones look like the ones, the tens look like the tens, and the hundreds look like the hundreds. Let's try solving a division problem using our drawings. So we have 396 divided by three. So as we talked about in the beginning of this chapter, the dividend tells us how many items or things, and the divisor tells us how many groups. So because we have three groups, I will draw three groups. And now let's turn our attention to how many items we have in the dividend. So let's start with the hundreds place. We have three hundreds. So I will draw three squares. We have nine tens. So I will draw nine sticks. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have Six one, so I'll draw six dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we will divide the number of hundreds first, the hundreds, equally among the three groups. So I have one of the hundreds, I'll put it here. Second one, I'll put it here. The third hundred, I'll put it here. And we have equally shared the hundreds. So now let's move over to the tens and divide the tens equally amongst the groups. So one ten, another ten, another ten, another. Another, 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 and this is the last one. So I have now shared the um, tens equally amongst the three groups. Now, last but not least, I will share the ones that divide the ones among three groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I was able to now share the six ones equally among the three groups. So now let's look at one of the groups to see what our answer or quotient could be. So let's look at this drawing. We have 100, because we have one square. We have three tens, because we have three sticks. And we have two ones, because we have two dots. So my quotient, or my answer to this division problem, 
is 132. As you can see, you can use these place value drawings to solve a division problem. Let's try another problem. Paolo has 39 patches from states he and his relatives have visited. He wants to pin them onto a board and arrange them equally in three rows. How many patches will be in each row? So Paolo has 39 patches and he wants to arrange them equally in three rows. So he wants to somehow share them amongst the three rows. So the equation is 39 divided by three. So just like we talked about before, we have three groups because three is a divisor. And we have 39 objects. So let's draw 39. We have three hundreds. I'm sorry, we have three tens, three tens. So we have three sticks. And we have nine ones, so we have nine dots. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Now we are going to share the three tens among the three groups. So one, two, three. I'm done dividing the tens among the three groups. So now it's time for the nine ones to divide the nine ones among the three groups. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now let's look at just one of the groups and see how much is in there to determine the quotient. So we have one ten and we have three ones. So my quotient is 13. Now let's try another example. Let's try 55 divided by four. As we talked about before, our divisor tells us how many groups how many groups, right? So we'll draw four groups. Three, four. Next, let's focus on the number of items we have, which is shown by the divisor. So let's start with five tens. So we'll draw five sticks. One, two, three, four, five. And let's move on to the ones. We have five ones, so let's draw five dots. One, two, three, four, five. And now it's time to share. So let's divide the five tens among the four groups. So one, two, three, four. As you can see, I have one 10 left over, but I cannot share my one 10 among these four groups equally. So I'm going to look at my 10 and look at my ones, and I'm going to add them together. So if I have one 10 and I have five ones, then I have one 10, five ones, I have 15 ones.
So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So I'm going to share these 15 ones among these four groups. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Do you see how I was unable to add it to this last group? So there's three ones, four ones, four ones, four ones. That's not equal. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make them equal. So because this has one, ten, and three ones, all of these should have one, ten, and three ones. So I'm going to erase one, two, three, and put those three on the outside, one, two, three. So now they are equal. I have one ten and three ones, one ten and three ones, one ten and three ones, one ten and three ones. So let's see how much is in one group to find my quotient. I have one ten, and I have three ones. But remember, important, I was not able to divide equally with this equation. I was. I have actually have a remainder. So remember, I need to write R, which shows you that there's a remainder, anything left over, and there are three left over. So again, I have 13 in each group, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then I have remainder three because I have three extra that I couldn't share among, the, among these um, equal groups.